Anal fissure. A fissure in ano is a tear in the anadem distal to the dentate line. Most are located at posterior midline, but 10% are anterior especially in women. Lateral or multiple fissures should raise suspicion of trauma, inflammatory bowel disease, lymphoma, neoplasm, or infection and require further investigation with biopsy and endoscopic evaluation. Manometric studies have demonstrated increased resting internal anal sphincter tone in patients with an anal fissure. Increased internal anal sphincter pressure results in diminished perfusion of the overlying anaderm. Given that the blood supply to the anaderm is most tenuous in the posterior and anterior midline, it logically follows that the majority of fissures occur in these locations. Characteristic symptoms include tearing pain with defecation and possible bright red blood on toilet paper. Patients may also complain of a sensation of intense and painful anal spasm lasting for several hours. Patients with symptomatic fissure of less than 6 to 8 weeks in duration are considered to have an acute anal fissure. During this early time period, the fissure will likely consist of a tear or an ulcer in the skin of the anal canal beginning at the dentate line. After 6 to 8 weeks, fissures take on a chronic appearance characterized by fibrosis, a skin tag at the distal extent of the fissure, and a hypertrophied papilla at the proximal end. Therapy focuses on breaking the cycle of pain, spasm, and ischemia thought to be responsible for development of fissure in ano. First-line therapy to minimize anal trauma includes bulk agents, stool softeners, and warm sits baths. The addition of 2% lidocaine jelly or other analgesic creams can provide additional symptomatic relief. Nitroglycerin ointment has been used locally to improve blood flow but often causes severe headaches. Both oral and topical calcium channel blockers have also been used to heal fissures and may have fewer side effects than topical nitrates. Botulinum toxin causes temporary muscle paralysis by preventing acetylcholine release from presynaptic nerve terminals. Injection of botulinum toxin is used in some centers as an alternative to surgical sphincterotomy for chronic fissure. Surgical therapy has traditionally been recommended for chronic fissures that have failed medical therapy, and lateral internal sphincterotomy is the procedure of choice. Advancement flaps with or without sphincterotomy have also been reported to successfully treat chronic fissures. This video and all other my videos are used for teaching purpose only. Thank you for watching me goodbye.